pop in a box. Oh yeah, the monthly mystery box where you get delivered one to ten Funko Pops, depending on which subscription you go for. Me personally, I'm currently on a one pop subscription and it's a mystery, but the thing that makes Pop Box different than the other mystery box company is they have a unique pop tracker system and you can thumbs up the pops you like and thumbs down the pops you don't like and hit a trophy for the ones that you already have in your collection. And each month, if all things go well, they will send you one that you do not have in your collection, but it's one that you want. So who's the bait? Is it a mystery? But it is a mystery because I don't know which one this one is. I thumbs up a lot of pops. Let's get on with the unboxing. What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people. Welcome to the Geeky Heaven channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heaven, here with January 2021. That sounds weird saying that. January 2021's Pop in a Box unboxing. I clearly didn't get an oversize or a movie moment or anything like that. It's clearly a standard size pop, but I'm still excited. I'm always excited to see what I got. Mostly because I can't remember what I thumbed up. I do go through the list every now and then and change my mind <laughs> and thumbs down up, swap them around. But that being said, let's see what we got. Not in a pop in a box box, which is annoying because I like the pop in a box boxes. I think they keep them safer. There is, eh, there is packaging. It's brown paper. Just wrapped around it, I suppose you call that packaging. All right. Oh, nice, a Star Wars one, Han Solo. Oh, this is really awesome. What's this from? Is this from, and he's on Endor? It must, yeah, it must be with that coat with the trench coat on. And looking at the back of the course, that he clearly is from the Endor moment. Excellent, I've thumbed up a lot of Star Wars pops. I haven't had any for ages now. Han Solo, pop 286. There's the artwork. Come back. There is the rest of the line. I don't think I've got any in this line, if I'm honest with you. I would love to, I'd love to have more of them. I'm a huge, huge Star Wars fan. Star Wars pops are the most pops that I own for one collection. I own more Star Wars pops than I do Rick pops. If you believe that. Ah, <laughs> oh, really happy with this one. Let's get this one out for a closer look. I'll show you the art on top, boring blurb on the bottom. Oh, here is Han Solo himself out of the box. What a cool looking pop. I don't think it looks that much like, like Han Solo, if I'm honest with you. Maybe because I'm so used to seeing like the more recent Han Solo. What do you think? Does that look like Han Solo to you? I think if he was not holding that particular blaster, if he was just hot in a pose with his hands, I wouldn't... I don't know if I'd recognise that as Han Solo. But that being said, I'm happy to add it to my collection. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. Um, came with a plain red backing card. Which is a bit strange. Maybe, maybe they're all plain red in this one. I like the ones with the symbols or something on the back of them. Oh, really happy to add to my collection though. I, I was going to say, I, I think it's the first hand solo, but actually I do have one other hand solo. I think it's the one that everyone got because it was selling really cheap at HMP at one point. But comment, like, share, subscribe, all normal YouTube stuff. Let me know what you got in your popular box this month. If you get a popular box subscription, let me know. If you don't get a popular box subscription, what pops did you get? I'm always interested in pops. I'm going to hear you guys. I'm the Geeky Heathen. As always, much love. Until next time, stay awesome.